Louisiana residents saying their final goodbyes as the first and only woman to serve as governor of Louisiana is being remembered today. It all began this morning with an interfaith prayer service at St. Joseph's Cathedral. NBC Local 33's Kennedy Walker was there as Governor Kathleen Blanco was honored and remembered. Kennedy. Good evening, guys. It was a beautiful homegoing service for former Louisiana Governor Kathleen Blanco. There wasn't an empty seat in St. Joseph's Cathedral as hundreds came out to pay their respects. Many people spoke about her life and said that she was a joy to be around and a blessing to the state of Louisiana. Being escorted in by her grandchildren into St. Joseph's Cathedral. And this deep and abiding love that she had for all of the people made her a special leader. The music by Southern's Gospel Choir and St. Aloysius School Performance Choir filled the air as hundreds gathered to honor Louisiana's 54th governor. She used the power of the governor's office to help people who couldn't help themselves. Kathleen Blanco, the first woman governor of Louisiana, died after losing a long battle with cancer. She was a good and decent person who understood people because she understood life. Governor Blanco was at the helm during and after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, which many say just proved she was a monumental leader. She had to weather a tremendous storm for the state, and she did it with a lot of poise and dignity. Former New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu served as Blanco's lieutenant governor. On a personal level, he said she was more than a governor. She was his friend. I liked her very much. She had a great heart and a great mind. She had a wicked sense of humor. As the service came to an end, there wasn't a dry eye in the church as Louisianians remember their first woman governor. Reporting outside of St. Joseph's Cathedral, Kennedy Walker, NBC Local 33 News. And following the funeral, the former governor, uh, there were services at the Capitol. She is preceded in death by her youngest son, Benedict Blanco.